Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sachi Vaseen Daga. So if you're new here, this is my little home here on YouTube. Well, for today's video, this is my bathroom here on YouTube because we're getting very up close and personal in today's video. I'm so excited to finally reveal my skincare routine, which has been highly requested. I know, I'm sorry it's so late in the game for this particular video. But honestly speaking, you guys, I was going through a lot of products. Sometimes you get sent products. Sometimes I was purchasing new products to really see what what really my skin responds to and settles with. So right now, Touch would have a very good skincare routine, which I would love to share with you guys. But before we start, of course, I have to say, um, please do take care of yourself. With the COVID-19 situation here happening in the world, in our country, in so many different countries, please do take the necessary precautions. Wash your hands, stay indoors. Um, even while washing your hands, even when you're scrubbing, make sure the tap is off so that we don't have a water issue as well. Invest in good sanitizers, um, spread awareness, but not you know, rumors, stick to the facts. And of course, don't be overwhelmed. We all are in this together. And thanks to the beautiful platform of social media, we all can be remain connected with each other and you know help each other during this time. So we're gonna start off with face wash. So I have two face washes that I use. Um, one is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser. Now this is what I use when I tend to have a lot of makeup on my face. What I mean by is when I have when I have a shoot or have an event and I really go ham with my makeup or the makeup artist uses new products or whatever it is, I love removing my makeup with my makeup remover and then cleaning my face or washing my face with this particular face wash because it really cleanses it from the pores and I mean that. It's a beautiful multi-action foam cleanser and I've been using this forever. Um, when I'm not, you know, using um, too much makeup, like for instance for today, then for that particular day, then I go ahead with fresh soy face cleanser. This I purchased a while back and I've been loving this. Um, I had gone recently to, to Dubai, uh, beginning February. So I had got this from there. Um, of course, right now I don't know the online situation, so I wouldn't recommend it, but this is what I use. Um, if you do manage to get your hands on it in the future, definitely a very good face wash and suitable for all skin types and I highly recommend this. So for today, since I have, I'm really not going that ham with my makeup today, I'm going to go ahead with the fresh soy cleanser face wash and the consistency is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a light layer of water, then go ahead with the product in my hand, gently rub it and then wash my face. So I'm going to show you the entire process. I'm so new to filming like skincare routine videos. So I'm taking, my hand is wet, I'm just taking a little bit of the product. This is what it looks like. I take my time with the product because I, and I take a small amount. I don't take like too much. I think this is just the perfect amount. And even for the other face wash, you really don't, especially this one, the multi-action one, you just need like a pea-sized amount. It really goes in deep the skin again I've gone ahead with a fresh soy face cleanser face wash now I'm just gonna wash it also it's really important that you have a separate towel that is only for your face um, please check your towels make sure you get it clean very regularly and wash and keep a separate one for your skin do not use the same towel that, I, that you're using for your body for your skin it it's really unhygienic and that also causes a lot of breakouts so make sure you have a separate towel okay, so i've been trying this product for a week and this is the revital lift by l'oreal it's their crystal micro essence it's a very uh, liquidy kind of product and you just need a few drops and they've recommended to use it after you Cleanse your face with, with a face wash and before moisturizing. So I'm just going to take a few drops and they've also recommended not to use a cotton pad and only your fingers. So just that is done. Now we can go ahead with moisturizer. Now again, I have two moisturizers depending on the season or the weather or how my skin is feeling. Uh, one is the Loctane Immortal uh, Press Use Creme. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this one. But it looks like this. Um, and it's a very creamy texture. As you can see, I'm almost done with this. Um, this is amazing during winters or when your skin is feeling really dry. So 
with me after I use such a stripping kind of a face wash which really cleanses my makeup uh, the multi-purpose one the multi-action one by Estee Lauder then I try to go ahead with like a thicker cream so I really enjoy this I go ahead with only that amount uh, for my face it really really helps and it's very nourishing for the skin also a really good affordable option which I love to use this is the calendula essential moisture cream by the face shop again this is something I've really used I'm going to show it to you guys it's again almost done so I keep switching up with these two this is really good to get into summer with and during summer I really enjoy the moisture surge by Clinique when my skin really needs to drink water literally it's like a glass of water for the skin so I really enjoy that so I wanted to show you these two options which I regularly use um, I tend to try using maybe this during the day and this for the night and switch it up basically um, now for the eyes I've been recently loving the QMS uh, intensive eye cream this is the day and night cream this is what it looks like I use a very little amount so it looks like I've literally not used anything but it was filled to the brim so I just literally I'm gonna show it to you this is it. This is what I use. So I go one, two, three, four. For my under eyes, I just do a little bit with my hand and then I go ahead with the roller because my eyes get a little puffy, huh? So I use this Cosmetex roller. This is what it is. It's clean, clinical and luxurious but you can get any like kind of roller you can even use a little bit of ice or you can use the back of your spoon but I really have been enjoying this for my under eyes because it really debuffs it and because it always remains cool because of the steel like texture and these little dot things it really helps to debuff your under eyes So this skincare routine that I'm showing you, I don't every day use this. Uh, whenever I have to go out or you know the days when I really don't want to put any makeup but I still want my skin to look healthy, um, then I definitely use this. But when I'm at home, it's usually moisturized with a face wash, moisturizer, and a bit of sunscreen. And I do put the under eye cream because God knows I need it. <laughs> you can also go ahead and use it on your face with upward motions. And it just like helps to promote blood circulation on your face and that really gives a good glow and of course it's absolutely safe but this is the second last step this is the Nykaa skin portion um, facial oil and this is in 24k gold it also really adds a bit of moisture back to the skin And especially before makeup application, if you're looking for that dewy complexion, I highly recommend you go ahead with a facial oil. If you have oily skin, which is a very big concern, a lot of people have been asking me, then go ahead with a lightweight moisturizer with it. You can maybe mix the two and go ahead together with it. So maybe you could go ahead with a moisture surge, or you could go ahead with um, like a mattifying moisturizer. So this combination will really look amazing on your skin. But for me, it really, see like automatically the dewy, youthful look comes in. I also use the leftover on my lips. So, um, this is what my face looks like after all that has settled in. And finally, I go ahead with the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Protection SPF 50. So this is like when I'm really going ham with my makeup. I have finished my Neutrogena sunblock, so this is what I use now as a primer and SPF. But today I'm not doing any makeup. Um, I'm just keeping my skin breathing, and that's it, guys. So my skin is primed. It is sun resistant, and it is looking healthy. This is my skincare routine you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is just a little bit of an insight to my skincare routine. I of course have a lot of affordable options but currently it, this entire skincare routine is really suiting me so I'm going to stick with this for a bit but I'll definitely keep updating you guys with my skincare routine as and when I keep trying new products and um, let me know what else you want to see down in the comments below. I hope this was helpful 
and I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, staying safe, staying indoors and um, enjoying this time with your family and you know maybe helping in your creative energy as well. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at the rate sachi.basin. I put up a lot of makeup videos and a lot of new product promotions on that page as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.